something over here. I'm gonna take. What the heck is all that? That's why it's hungry. If you can see that, but we get a little bit of cat brood. Not as much as I would like, but I, I also got all stages of egg in here, so our uh, of a development. And there's my queen right there. If you can see the queen, the green. If you can see that, and hopefully I got that on camera. There's the queen. She's in there laying, looking good. Careful not to hurt her. This is one of my Saskatraz hives. And uh, all things work out, we want to make a few splits off this to try to increase our Saskatraz. Oh, yeah, look at all this. Look at all this brood. All kinds of cat brood right there. Beautiful. And uh, we got a uh, couple of cups there as well that we'll have to uh, be watching. Look at this. Cat brood, all that cat brood. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Got lots of pollen being brought in. This hive is looking great. I'd like to get the population up a little bit more, so um, I'm thinking within the next three to four weeks, this bottom box will be completely filled. And so, uh, I'm gonna have to start checkerboarding and trying to uh, give them some frames to pull out, some foundation, while at the same time getting ready to uh, add that second box. Because we, uh, I run singles, but with the exception of the early spring, when they're building up, because uh, when they're building up, I gotta make sure they have plenty of room so that they don't go swarming on me. And then uh, as the uh, spring turns into a honey flow, I bounce them back down to single boxes, make all my splits, and then go from there. And uh, Queen has not been over here, it doesn't look like, but she has been on this side. Again, looks like all, all stages of development. And then a bunch of pollen is, as well there. I don't see any drone cells yet. That's one thing I'm gonna need as we farther and farther into uh, the season. So what I'm gonna do, uh -huh. took one out, I'm gonna take that one and put it back over here. So that's looking really, really good. I like this. Killing any, like 
kill anyone. I absolutely have to. So sometimes it happens. You get a few here that are. Some of this stuff is kind of nasty. And we're not going to bother add a second box quite yet. We'll let him finish sucking down this food. But there we go. That's. We like this hive. We like it a lot. Just like that. Okay. And let's move over. That's one of them that we're going to do our splits from. The other one we're hoping is this guy right here. Let me get this thing situated. All right. So this is one of our carnies. And, uh, down the pollen patty a little bit and we're starting to chew it down some if we can clean this up a little bit I don't want to have too much of a mess Oops. and there we go Piece. And that one's kind of dried up as well. Let's see what we got here. Break the seal up a little bit. Bees are always right where I want to put my hive tool. I don't like to kill them. I'm trying to be as gentle as I can. But sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. And they're starting to pull this one out. At that side, and then kind of clean from here. Oops, and then of course, there's bees, and you want to get right where you don't want them to be. Come on, this one's kind of heavy, got plenty of food in that. We'll push this one to the outside with nothing but food, a little bit of pollen, and let's see what we got here seal off a little bit and pull that strip up. And looks like a bunch of pollen down in there. I don't see any eggs, any development, any stages of the bee. Again, a bunch of food. And this next one I think is where we're gonna start seeing what I want to see. And then. There we go. Uh, all kinds of brood. So, and again, I see, yeah, I see other stages of development in here as well. So we're gonna go ahead same thing on this side. I basically see what I want to see. This one is doing exactly what I want it to do. So I'm just going to push the nest towards the center and try to check aboard the outside where the, where the resources are, the food and the pollen. God, they be, I don't want to kill you. And then put it away. Um, I try not to get into my hives any more than I have to. Once I go, once I see what I want to see, I stop, usually. And then uh, get this in here without pushing. I gotta clean the sides of those frames a little bit. Okay, so this one's good as well. So this one is still looking like a good, good prime candidate for our queens for this year. We'd like to get, like to get 10, 10 or more queens off this one hive if possible. We'll see. Okay, so that, Feed jar is empty, so we're just gonna put this back on for now. We'll have to get some more feed. Like this, so I know I need feed. Looking good. We like it. This one here was a uh, a queen that looked like she had died off over the winter, and so uh, the bees were just slowly dying off. I saw a couple of uh, cups in there. Looked like they tried requeening late last fall. 
and there was just nothing in it. Um, didn't see any traces of any queen or brood production or anything. So I, uh, I combined it with a strong hive. And so now my, uh, I'm just basically gonna keep this as a double until I uh, make a split off it. The goal is to make at least one split off everything uh, to bring them back down to one box once the honey flow starts. Um, and then I've got the two. Let me slowly shift around here. This uh, Carney and that Saskatraz, I want to take multiple queen cells out of. And uh, I'd like to get at least 10 off this, maybe 5 to 10 off that. So between those and then taking just ordinary splits off the rest of them, I should be able to get up to my 20 hives relatively uh, easy, assuming all the weather and everything plays nice. But you can see this one here. They're bringing in all kinds of pollen. Got some white pollen there. I just saw some orange and some yellow. So they're, uh, they're actively bringing it in. And I'm, I'm really happy about these hives. And uh, let's take a look. Again, this one here, they're just working on the frame itself. And if I remember right, this one here had cat brood in this top chamber here a week or so ago. So let's see what we got. Push them down just a little, just a little. of pollen they're bringing in pollen 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 everywhere I don't know again I don't know if you how much you can see there's a bunch of pollen on that one a bunch of uh, food that they're packing in from that sugar water pollen on this side oh I, I see on the next one what I want to see Look at this. Cat brood everywhere. All kinds of cat brood. Same thing on this other end. And same thing over here. Cat brood everywhere. Hopefully that's in the camera's view. And uh, I see the other stages of development on here. So again, and just glancing down inside the hive, I see the same thing on the one right beside it. I've seen everything I need to see. So what I am gonna do though, is I'm gonna take this one, put right here, and I'm gonna go ahead and take this one. Mm -hmm. Actually no, that one was lighter, so I do wanna put the food over here, and then put this one in here. just a little tighter than I'd like but I try not to again I try not to push them down in I want them to fall down naturally uh, but now, now they're starting to get a little riled up moved a little bit too quick for them so let's go ahead and just close them back up let's just close them back up and then uh, we'll let them let them be The thing I need to do with this hive, I'll show you here in a second, is one of my one of my three three uh, goals or rules of, of beekeeping is happy, which means uh, happy, healthy, and heavy. So happy meaning their home needs to be constructed right. This here, you can see the bees coming and going. I don't want that. And this one up here, we've got a crack, so I got to make sure that that's sealed up. But uh, I'll be sealing this up so that, especially once it gets later in the year and we have to start worrying about uh, robbing, all these, all these things need to be sealed up. And at least that's what I do. But uh, anyways, there's, there's another hive. And I'm not sure if I really need to go through the rest of them or not. They all seem to be doing really good based on what I see coming in and going. And so uh, I think I'm gonna seal them back up and, and call it a day. Because like I said, I. 
I want to get into my hives and check, but I don't want to get into my hives for the sake of getting into my hives. I just, I found that, oh, a year or so ago, I, uh, go, I, I, I learned that uh, getting into your hives with a purpose, and then once the purpose is, the objective of the purpose has been met, get out, let them do their thing. And, uh, you know, I'll stay in a hive as long as I need to stay, and hopefully not any longer. So we're going to go ahead and close these back up. This one's looking really good. Really looking forward to this year. i got to fix the entrance on this. It's pushed in. But I'm bringing in a ton of pollen now. And I'm seeing more and more flowers coming up. I'm seeing the trees are budding. So I'm really happy. Really, really happy. So we've been, we're, we're ready to go. And uh, we're, we can't wait to do it. Hopefully within the next couple of weeks, uh, we're going to start pushing some of these off to their uh, summer homes where they're going to be. I've got a 50 acre field. I'm going to buy some, uh, a lot of clover and hay. And I've got a couple other spots. So we'll, uh, we're looking for a really great year. So anyways, enough of me babbling on. Thanks again for watching. Really appreciate it. Uh, let me know what you think, how you're doing, and, uh, you know, especially you people in colder climates, but, uh, um, you know, it's always interesting to see what other people are doing. But uh, anyways, thanks again. Appreciate it.